What's going on guys? We are back once again. And you know, with everything that I have seen on Saints Row, and I have been, you guys know I have been very blunt on what I think about this. Obviously, you know, there's been some backlash on fans that are, uh, whether you be defending it, not defending it, but I'm going to go ahead and say this. And again, if you guys want to buy this, you know, by all means, but you're going to be disappointed is all I'm going to say. There is a lot of people that do not like this. I am one of them. And when I'm saying I'm one of them, it means I'm an original fan. And I'm going to say this, Violation, you sold us out. You did. You did. And now you're defending, oh, well, you know, we're, we're doing this, we're doing this. And it's dividing not only the fan base... But, oh, we won't back down. We waited eight years, and then you give us this, and you're making the OG fans look like we're in the wrong. And we're not in the wrong. If, and you mislead us with the graffiti wall, then you say, oh, we're getting rid of, we're, we're, we're basically rebooting the entire thing. Get rid of all the characters that we love. Shondi, Pierce, Gat, the player we know. Oh, we're going to get rid of him. Oh, because it, we've already told that story. No, you haven't. You haven't said it all. And see, I even took to Twitter, and I've been very vocal on Twitter. If you guys aren't following me, go ahead and do so. And there's been people like, oh, well, there's only so much they could have done with the story. They took over the galaxy. They took over hell. No, they did not take over the galaxy. Yeah, they created, an, they got an armada. And then they were going to do whatever, depending on the end of uh, Get Out of Hell. And then they're going to give us this. And it's like, oh, we're going to go back to the roots. Okay, you may be going back to the roots. But these are characters that nobody cares about. These are characters that we do not want to see. And you're giving us, oh, a female protagonist. Again, there's nothing wrong with a female protagonist. But again, everyone is calling this SJW slash woke crap. And in a way it is. Because you are scared of what people think. You're bending the knee. You are bending the knee to people. Oh, we, we got to have this. We got to have more diversity. We got to have this. We got to that. The games had diversity. I don't understand people that, that want to defend and say, oh, well, it didn't have diversity. Yeah, it did. Johnny Gat was Asian. Pierce, of course, black. You could be any kind of ethnic you wanted. You could be uh, white, black, Asian, Hispanic, whatever. You, you had other characters that were either Caucasian, African American, Asian, or Hispanic. And yet, that was a problem? And, oh, we need people that will, you know, relate to these characters. How are you going to relate to game bangers? Hmm? How are you going to relate to gangsters? How are you going to relate to hipsters? And everyone's like, oh, it's too hipster. It's too this, it's too that. It's not really hipster. It's just where you look at these characters, they don't scream, oh, we're the saints or, or, or we're becoming the saints. No. And it just doesn't make sense. And then you hear, and then I hear different things on YouTube because I'm gonna say this, guys. You go, you type in Saints Row, you're gonna be seeing a lot of fans, true fans, be be pissed off, and it's true. And they have every right to be, just like I am. And then you get other people that are wanting to go after them, and say, "Oh, we'll give it a chance. You haven't seen everything yet." But then when you see other news of other, you know, YouTubers that had the uh, experience to go and watch a trailer or play the game and say oh well no one you guys haven't seen nothing yet and then when they show something they're going back and going okay well i can't say nothing to my fan base to give them hope or be straight up with them because then you guys are possibly going to sue me so violation is not listening to its fan base And everyone's like, oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Dude, how is it going to be good? You scraped all the characters. You gave us something we do not want. You gave us something 
that no one really cares about. And we're supposed to be okay with that. No. And Violation ain't even listening to its fans. They're not. They are listening to people that are not even real fans. They're listening to people that are brand new to the franchise. That's like, oh, well, let's give it a chance. No. If they would have talked to me, I would have said, what in the hell are you doing? This is not something that you want. That the fandom wants or deserves. And it makes me wonder, what exactly did you get all this crap from? And they are. They are so disconnected from the community, it is terrifying. Because, oh, we love our fans. We love our fans. We love our fans. No, you don't. If you loved your fans, you wouldn't do this to us. If you loved your fans, you'd listen to us and say, okay, we need to scrape this thing. We need to do something else. And I even gave you guys different variations of ideas that I even I had on when I saw this. It's like, okay, you could have this game. Okay, let, let, let's go this route, okay? If you would have gave us these characters, but show them trying to connect to the original characters, that could have worked to a certain degree. Or bring the characters in and then you meet these characters because with the Saints being so global, again, just because they're running Stillwater does not mean there are other gangs that was wanting to step up to them, just like the Syndicate. So again, other gangs could have stepped up to them. But at the same time, if they went to wherever this is in the in the world or wherever, the United States or, or wherever have you, however they are predicting this version, they took over Stillwater, they took over Steelport, now they're going to be taking over Santo Alesso. They could have done that. They could have done that. It, a bigger map, bringing in these characters like they did with um you know like we see this is kenzie uh zemo and angel something like that you could have said oh this is this character this is this character this is this character and then bring them along into the saints you could have done that you could have done that it would have been a lot better and then get to know these characters not play them but get to get to be around them and actually still have the original characters but you didn't do it because oh we need more of this we need more of that no, you want what you want, and you're not listening to the fandom. You're listening to so-called fans. I've even taken to Twitter and myself, and I had a uh, a poll, and most of the fandom came back and stated, ones that actually care, it's like, dude, no, this is trash. Or people that I had on my live stream don't even know about Saints Row. Some of these, some of these idiots that are out here, they're like, oh, well, uh, well, I'm not going to buy it, and I don't know much about it. It's like, dude... Whether you are going to buy it or not, you are not a fan. So if you have not been a fan as long as I have or all these other people out here, then you need to sit down and just be quiet because you don't have, I mean, yes, you have a voice, but you're not going to be, you don't need to be heard as much as everybody else does that has been with this franchise as long as we have, that has played the game several times, that has written stories about these characters that love these characters that want to see more of these characters that want justice for these characters and we never got it so violation you bent the knee you sold us out and, th and that's all there is to it i will be making more videos about this there will i will be reacting to more about this as of right now i am not getting the game as of right now i am not getting the game unless there is something that they have yet to be stated about this game i'm not getting it I'm pretty much going to handle this the way I did Agents of Mayhem. I'm going to watch it online. I'm going to critique it. And then maybe years later, I'll get the game. I don't know. But that's my feelings as of right now. But you guys let me know what you think. And you guys know what to do. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Click notifications. And leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one.